Hey dolphins, I'm excited to read this story to you today. It's called One Word for Kids and it's written by John Gordon, Dan Britton, and Jimmy Page. And it says it's a great way to have your best year ever. It was the first day of school and Stevie was falling asleep. He was tired, grumpy, and sad that summer was over. But his ears perked up when his teacher, Mrs. B, said, I believe there is one word that will help you have your best year ever. It will be so great you'll enjoy it even more than summer vacation. Stevie's friend Eli raised his hand and asked, what word is that? Well, the word, word will likely be different for everyone, Mrs. B said. I have a special assignment for each of you. It's to find your own one word for the year. So how do we find it? Stevie's classmate Jimmy asked. I will help you, but I want you to try to discover it on your own first, Mrs. B answered. That night, while having dinner with his family, Stevie wouldn't talk or eat. When his mom asked what was wrong, he told her about the one word assignment. He was sad because he had no idea how to find his one word. Maybe your one word is annoying, his sister Callie shouted. I think it should be negative, his sister Jade yelled. Come on girls, Stevie's dad quickly responded. Stevie, Maybe you should think about some of the things you love to do or your favorite places to go. Maybe you'll find your one word there. That night, Stevie went to bed and thought about all his favorite places and things he loves to do, hoping he'd find his one word. Maybe my one word is fun. Maybe my one word is love. Maybe my one word is kind. Maybe my one word is smile. Maybe my one word is strong. Maybe my one word is brave. Maybe my one word is fast. The next morning, Stevie woke up excited. He was still thinking about all the words he could choose. When school started, Mrs. B said, I have great news for all of you. Today, I'm going to give you the secret to finding your one word. You don't find it, it finds you. And I'm going to give you three easy steps to discover it and live it. What's the first step? Abby yelled. The first step is to look into your heart. Mrs. B said, ask yourself, what one word will help me be my best? The second step is to look up, said Mrs. B. Look up and around and believe that there is one word meant for you. If you're open to it, it will come to you. What's the third step? Cole asked. That comes after you know your one word, Mrs. B answered. I'll tell you that step soon, but first, who's ready to discover their one word? All the students cheered. On the bus ride home, Stevie thought about the first step. He thought about words that would help him be his best. As Stevie walked off the bus, he waved to his friend George and said goodbye to Miss Joy, the bus driver. Thank you, Sugar. I love how positive you are today, Miss Joy said. That night, as Stevie walked his dog Huxley, he thought about all the possible words. He looked up and remembered what Miss Joy said to him as he got off the bus. In that moment, his one word came to him, positive. He remembered how grumpy he had been when summer was over. Mrs. B said his one word would help him have his best year ever. He now knew his one word was positive and he couldn't wait to tell everyone. Stevie ran home and told his family, positive. 
The next day, Stevie walked into school feeling good that he had discovered his one word. All right, class, today is the day. Tell me your words, Mrs. B said. Grace shouted out, my one word is strong. John said, mine is grow. Mine is joy, Deja said. My one word is win, Jake said. Mine is care, Don said. Courage, Xavier said. Mine is faith, Catherine said. Ivalice said, my one word is believe. Class, I am so proud of each and every one of you, Mrs. B said. Here is the best part. The third and last step is to look out and live your one word. On the bus ride home, Stevie was extra positive with Miss Joy. At soccer practice, Stevie encouraged his teammates and even shared the one word idea with his coach. His coach loved the idea and shared it with the team. At home, he was even positive with his sisters. Stevie lived his one word for the entire school year and on the last day of school, he realized that Mrs. B was right. He had his best year ever and it was even better than summer vacation. If one word can help Stevie, think about what one word can do for you. So, what's your one word?